Well, that's all she wrote. Um, this is just an old Moss fan. It's real tired out. Came from a restaurant. It's from about 1983 or 4, the restaurant owner said. I don't have any money her before. I do have its canopy. Uh, I didn't have a switch housing. That's how the switches and wires were when I got it. I've had it for about two years. Um, recently, that switch broke. So now, even when you pull it, it does nothing at all. Like, you can hear it. It'll still click. Like, see, it still clicks. But it just doesn't do anything at all. It doesn't mess with the fan speeds or anything. It's stuck on high. Now it's stuck on nothing. I just reversed it and went over there to plug it in. And she made a nice little pop and pop the breaker. So uh, then I put it back and forward and tried it again and it wouldn't turn. I think she's done for. Uh, this fan had a lot of issues anyway. Its blades are going on another fan. Maybe I'll put them on the diamond crystal. That'd look kind of cool. There's the Nader Spirit of Saturn copy, which is getting that light. That light is what was on that when I got it. But, yeah. No, sorry, that's backwards. That's the light that was on that. That light was on a ceiling fan similar to this one, but a white version of it. Anyways, I guess that's it for the Moss fan. Um, she's dead. This video will most likely be called The Moss's Last Run. Um, like you can see, it still spins fine. Had pretty good bearings in it and everything. They were loud when I got it, but they quieted down with some oil and use. Oh, maybe I'll try and rewire this and try it again. And if it works, you guys are the first people to see it. So, uh, guess that's it for my Moss fan.